The Trilogy Podcast with Vin and Scott. Putting the buff back in film buff. Trilbit number six. It's called A Dojo, asshole. Cobra Kai review. Well, we're finally in my neck of the woods, my friend. Yep, you, you, some days you gotta win. You I'm gotta Vin, and that is... I'm Scott. Yes, and we're giving you another trill bit here in preparation for our Karate Kid episode. Yes. And, you know, the reason the we're karate doing... The Karate Kid. What'd you say? The Karate Kid. Right, don't cheapen the great Karate <laughs> Kid with your pronunciations, Cagney. I respect the Karate Kid. Thank I, you. I enjoy the Karate Kid. Um, after you tortured me with Batman and Avengers, finally we're doing something that I can appreciate, that I know a lot about, right. okay? Am I proud that I know as much about the Karate Kid as you do about the Avengers? Not necessarily. Well, it, it's come in handy. I mean, it's current right now, now with these, uh, this Cobra Kai Oof. show coming out. So at least, you know, it's useful now. Exactly. Now that we've got the Cobra Kai show coming out, that was our motivation for doing the uh, Karate Kid episode. So here we are to talk about the Cobra Kai show, the first two episodes on YouTube. Yes. As an expert... In the Karate Kid, I've got many opinions, and I'm going to save many of them for the prime episode. Sure, prime episode. But boy, did I love Cobra Kai. Who? I. You know what's funny? I, I mean, I. I am. I am also like I'm a fan of the movies. Like when when I was a kid, me and my brother used to watch the movies over and over and over right. again. It's been a long time since I've seen them, so it'll be nice to rewatch them. Yeah. But even watching this, like I was it, it, like enthralled. With yeah. This. Like. It's a good I, lore. It's a I good didn't story. Expect it to be good, why? In a weird way. Why? Well, because it seemed like you know you see these all these reboots and remakes and sure. people doing stuff, and and sometimes they just fall flat on their face, and they're just not any good. Someone is creating a device that amplifies paranormal activity, and we might be the only ones who can stop it. So it was a pleasure to see my old pals coming back together um, to do this series. Cobra Kai. This is YouTube's first deal, isn't it, Scott? Uh, well, I mean, they've had shows in the past. I know they had uh, Video Game High School, I believe it was called. Um, but this is definitely their most, like, highest notoriety. They're blowing it up. I mean, they're really yeah, pushing it. This is really going to... I mean, people are going to sign up for this shit. They're going to get... The, they're going to do what I've done already, which is signed up for the free Yeah, month. we kind of we kind of had a, a little miscommunication. I... <laughs> I thought we were doing this trill bit on just the first two free episodes, one and, and two. And, and I thought right. that we were supposed to watch the whole thing. Right. So so I've got about 10 minutes left in the final episode of Cobra Kai. And I just watched the first two episodes today. So we're going to try and cover the first two episodes. But if there's a little overlap, if Scott kind of spoiler I'll alerts try it, not to. we'll do the best we can. Yes. Now, look, look, the first thing I want to say is that I got to tell you, I, I showed you this video before we started recording this. This series owes a lot, okay, to the song Sweep the Leg Johnny by the band No More Kings from the year 2007. And yeah. they came out with this seven minute video showing all the members of the movie, The Karate Kid, all the cast members living the lifestyle that they're living in a way in this series. Yeah. Specifically, Johnny, who's a reprobate. He's living in a trailer. Yeah. His life is not going Life's the way falling he... apart. Yeah, because he's a bully that's kind of right. gotten his comeuppance in life. But it really, it had the same feeling for me. When I first started watching this and I saw that Johnny was waking up in a shitty lifestyle, I'm like, whoa, this is just like the video. So yeah. props to No More Kings. They had no other hit. They had no more hits, if you yeah. will, after this. <laughs> if this was even a hit, it got a lot of views on YouTube. But I think... Somebody got the idea, wait a second, people still want to know what's going on with these characters. Yeah. You know? The, the Karate Kid films are filmed in earnest, and as silly as they might feel as 80s films looking back on them now, they're dead-ass serious when they're filmed. Yeah. These movies, the karate, the Cobra Kai is clearly a wink and a nod to the audience. It, there's camp to it. It's clearly... Yes campy it's funny it's silly in its own way you know there's actually they're playing I mean, earnest you know they're not really earnest right. they're playing earnest right hey burn look what i found in my daddy's closet remember this is really only telling the tale of two of the characters from the karate kid and it changes the the story yeah the ultimate ultimately the karate kid is about daniel and miyagi don't kid yeah. yourself this is about 
Daniel and Johnny, a relationship that is, was never really explored in in any real way right. in these films. Yeah. And looking at it from a different perspective, Johnny versus Daniel, they said, this perspective is silly. And so let's treat it that way. And really, yeah. that's how they treat it. And that's why it's funny. Yeah. When I look around this dojo, I don't see Cobra Kai material. I see losers. I see nerds. It makes me feel like a virgin just looking at you. Going into the, the first episode. Yeah. All right. I call that Johnny's story. All right. Because we really get a sense of this is about Johnny right. as much as Daniel, if more, if not more about Johnny yeah. than Daniel. Right. Yeah. Did you notice that they got the rights somehow to all these films, though? Yeah. I mean, we're seeing every single character. We're seeing flashbacks. We're seeing. I'm surprised YouTube hasn't like said like, oh, catch up on the movies. And then like, that's also part of YouTube somehow they you clearly get... got the rights. Yeah. And I got chills, Scott, when they were showing. In the, the big, before the first episode, finish him! Yeah, oh, show my God, I got chills. Yeah. Ooh, love the Karate Kid. So, for yeah. people that are real fans, whether just of the film or that grew up during that time, it's a nostalgia kick for them. You're getting chills when you're totally. watching this Totally, yeah. Beginning. If you've seen the movie, you know how badass that last scene is. Oh, boy. And how crazy it Ooh. gets where you're like, oh, Daniel's not going to make it. Yeah. He's not going to make it. It's awesome. It's yeah. awesome. And you know what? The way they did it. In the first episode where they show the points, the breakdown of who got the points. Yeah. And it's almost in Johnny's mind. It's like, this is how he sees it. Point to point. Right. And Amy's sitting next to me and she's like, she knew I knew every point. I'm like, it goes 2-0. Then he ties it to 2-2. Two, two. A bunch of things where he tries to break Daniel's leg. Daniel wins with a crank. Come on. Yeah. Don't. But I love seeing it <laughs> expressed that way, man. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. But I love some of the little touches. The idea that Johnny lives in the same rundown apartment complex that Daniel lived um, yeah. When they moved in, same exact place. Yeah, and it's the same in California. I know that it happens to be look exactly the same. Yeah, so pretty cool. I also love the idea just from the beginning is that Larusa with his car dealerships like torments Johnny, like he can't escape them. It's on TV whenever yeah. he least you know just rubbing it in his just face. rubbing it in his face, and we see product pl placement right off the bat. He oh, picks yeah. up a Coors and all of the car references. I have to assume that's some product placement to get this thing off the ground. Oh, of course. I Let's think the movie ourselves. was how paid much... for with all that shit. Yeah, but how much could it have cost at the end of the day? It's produced by YouTube. You're not you don't have any mega celebrities in it. You have a couple of people. Except I would for still say for ten well, episodes. You do have who paid for Ed Asner's really strange yeah. role as Johnny's stepfather. What who first of all, did you even know Ed Asner did was? Did we alive? ever meet Johnny's stepfather in the movies? Not no, at we all. Never That's a new invention. Did we need his mother or anything? No. no. Nothing right? about his background. Again, like I said, that movie is about the relationship between, you know, Daniel and Mr. Miyagi. Johnny is a device in yeah. the first karate kid. Don't kid yourself. Right. We flesh him out a little bit at the end and in the beginning of the second karate kid, you yeah. know, when he's reacting to to, to Crease when it Right. You know, we don't know anything about him. He's a device. Yeah. So well, I, I will say that they, they do there. more of like flashbacky stuff to like, you know, when he was younger. Yeah. And it's a little bit weird. Right. Because now you're now you're bookending. It's new territory. Right. Like it, and it's a little strange as you go Again, along. But like it ends up even know it's a good Asner payoff. Asner was alive still. Yeah. Holy shit. I, I mean, at least he can see. He can still deliver a line, though. OK. Do you have any money? Uh, yeah. Can I piss on you? So right off the bat, you look like it seems the whole gimmick is going to be that the roles are reversed. We see it. Right. Johnny's taking on a student. He lives in, in an apartment complex. He's like a worker in the same way Miyagi was. Right. He's taking on a student. He's opening up the... And so... And and Daniel's kind of a, kind of a dickhead. Yeah. So are the roles reversed? Well, that's kind of the trick. I'm, I haven't seen the rest of them, but in the first two films... Johnny's clearly not a typical protagonist. He's not a hero. His motivation isn't good. Yeah. It's not true. So that's why this movie isn't. I'm rather this television show is interesting. It's, he's the anti Miyagi. That's, he is. That's, that's basically but yet, the whole thing. Because setup. he's so pathetic, we feel for him in, his, in our own way. Yeah. We, like his intentions are kind of good. He just doesn't know anything. He's kind of like grasping for something to like sort of believe in. And, and let me tell you, and I'm going to really get into this in a big way when we do the podcast. But Johnny is a perfect example of what Miyagi says in the first film, that he's an example of having a bad teacher. Dan, Johnny is not a bad guy at his core. He's been led by a bad teacher teacher by right. Chris by the Cobra Kai so that really colors his yes. whole worldview his whole karate view right it's not that he's at his core evil 
And I think that's what kind of comes to comes out here. Yeah. You know, in a really big way. Like, I love that he still kicks ass. He beats all those kids up. Yeah, Johnny's still knowing his karate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kick, kick their asses. They're still jerks. Got it. But you know what? It made me sick to see Daniel cheapening Miyagi and the bonsai tree by giving out a bonsai yeah, right? tree. Yeah, like, uh, every... There's a couple of moments as the series Ugh. goes on, too, where you're like, but, but, how could you but, do that, Daniel? Really? You're yeah. really corrupting. Do you even care about Miyagi? You'd never. Miyagi would never want you to give out a bonsai tree with every car purchase. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, the whole third movie is based around the fucking bonsai tree. It's such a huge part of the third terrible Karate Kid movie. But yet it's a part of the lore in a big way. So you Everyone cheapening... pronounces it in this show, bonsai? And I've never... I've no, heard... they can be pronounced either way. I've heard it as bones... In the movies, they pronounce it as both bonsai and bonsai. Miyagi almost says bonsai. Daniel says bonsai. Daniel... Everyone in the show, like, almost exclusively says bonsai. Well, I'm telling I'm you, like... when Daniel drives away in the first movie, and you can pull it up right here... Bonsai, daniel says, Hey, Bonsai! Banzai! 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 <laughs> you hear what I mean? There you go. Yeah. He's saying Banzai. Banzai. Either way. Because he's, you know, he was like a Jersey kid. I just thought this first TV show, Irene, I just thought this first episode was great. I love that 80s montage where Johnny is, first he's watching... You know, he's sitting in front of the TV drunk. He's mixing beer and liquor and yeah. he's getting wasted. Then he go, he drunk drives around. Yeah. And it's like uh, it's like Rocky four when Rocky is driving around and there's that classic 80s montage of things that happened in the past. And he's feeling emotional about. Yeah. Them. yeah. That's, where, that's where we got our the mu- the piece of music that we started this this little trill bit with. It's that. Yeah. montage of him driving around and feeling bad for himself. And I thought that was awesome. Yeah. So listen, if you're a child of the 80s like I am, you really appreciate the way this sort of captures that idea. Yeah. And, the, the, uh, the, and as the show continues, I think they, they there are moments where you're like, well, that's not even from Karate Kid. That's from a different movie. But yeah. <laughs> still, you're like... It's the feeling. The feeling of the time. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. great. I can't wait to watch the rest of these. Yeah. Don't ruin them for me, Scott. I, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to excite you for oh, I am excited. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, and confirm so then, your suspicions yes, of what's no. to come. I feel like, listen, they're giving a lot of props to, you know, pre, you know, references from the past. Mm-hmm. They're not apologetic about showing footage of Ali, of Mr. Miyagi, and sort of all this, fla- of John Kreese, and all this flashback yeah. stuff. They're just really staying away from the second and third movie. So yeah. again, this is a continuation of two guys from the first film, a different conflict. Right. Then we get well, because the main conflict is because Johnny never got over it, right? right. It's like because he, LaRusso moved on. Right. He Good had point. two other movies, and then he became a success car dealership. Right. Uh, but Johnny has never moved on from getting kicked in the face. Johnny owns Daniel. He's like, he immediately is like, yeah, it was, illegal. It was an illegal kick. Daniel, yeah. Daniel's like, yeah. hi, how you doing? And he's like, yeah, it was an illegal kick. <laughs> and uh, that's a total, how you been, Johnny? And that's it was a total an internet thing, my friend. Much of this is taken from a lot of internet speculation, which yeah. is to say, a lot of people on the internet are like, yeah, there's no karate tournament where you can just kick somebody in the face like that. Yeah. You can't do it. I'm, I'll talk a lot about in the podcast episode about how that tournament doesn't resemble any organized tournament in the history of mankind. Yeah. But that's one of the huge things. You can't just kick someone in the face like that. <laughs> no. All right. And also, Daniel is still sort of snotty about it. He's like, it wasn't you, Johnny. It was, it was Cobra Kai. Like, he's sort of assigning blame to the entire yeah. situation like intellectualizing it daniel it's like all right yeah. daniel you he know? almost incites him to bring cobra kai back yeah like, he really does it is like, oh, this is cobra kai you're a good guy you're like no <laughs> i'm not a good guy i'm cobra kai like i'm bringing it back so i love those little you know those those little you know features yeah it's really cool it was really cool yeah so then it's- we get into the second episode and the second episode is really what you'd call Daniel's story. All right. Having seen Johnny's, what this is, how this is spun, how this is butterfly affected Johnny's life into one of misery. Yeah. Daniel, on the other hand, is a complete success. They never really explain the how anyone remembers him or his karate from a, a, a teenage karate tournament from 30 years ago. But okay. Well, I mean, you know, uh, you know, if you're uh, you got a successful car dealership and you bring it up all the time, Listen, I... Scott, we know how 
how rare something important happens in the Los Angeles area, California. How few important, exciting things happen in L.A. So, naturally, everyone remembers the local karate champion. Well, I mean, I'm sure you remember uh, Tom's <laughs> River was, uh, you know, World Baseball. Uh, you remember this? Little League World Series champions? Yeah, I do. Tom's River. Yeah, of course you do. Well, what's your point? Because it's important to us because it's local. I mean, I guess so. You but know what I mean? Like, you remember that kind yeah, of I gotta thing. I got to tell you, though, but if the Tom's River coach I mean, they also opened have up a, a car sign. dealership, I would have no idea who he is or what he was talking about. Sure. I certainly wouldn't what if go he to said, his... hi, I'm Coach So-and-so of uh, Tom's River? I don't know why he talks like that. He's from Tom's River. <laughs> He's from Tom's River, New no, Jersey. he probably talks like a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely does. Listen, you get into Ocean County, we're really getting into the South Jersey place. Yeah. You know. It's like a whole different state down there. It really is. Okay. <laughs> don't want to offend anyone, but we don't mind if we do. Um, but here we go. Also, another little turnaround. Since Johnny lives in Daniel's old apartment complex, you see that Daniel revisit it now is a member of Johnny's old country club. Oh, yeah. yeah and what's yeah. funny is we, it's never explained why Johnny is no longer... His family was rich at some point in time. Yeah. So what... Why, I, they why they, they get just, into it a little bit more. They do. So yeah. don't, don't reveal it to me. No, I won't. Maybe the stepfather, maybe good old Ed Asner reveals information. Fine. But don't ruin it for me. I, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm Cagney. not saying a word. I'm not even speaking. Damn you. Damn you. God. Damn you all to hell! I loved the fact that the kid is asking Johnny how he should clean this and that in the COVID <laughs> guy studio, and he's like, I don't give a shit, just clean it, whatever <laughs> yeah. it is. Nah, I don't give a Fantastic. shit. Fantastic. Yeah. And that tells right. you that this isn't going to be a, a real... These guys could have been lazy and really just flipped the script. Yeah. Really just turned it around, and it would have been pretty funny, pretty good. Yeah. Would have made sense. But the fact that they're making Johnny not your typical hero in any way, that he's still right. radically flawed. Yeah. It's really cool. But, like, yeah, you become, you know, really sympathetic to his cause. and you. This is what you think happens to these types. Okay, and now listen, I'm, very, I'm almost 42 years old, so very removed from the 80s in this period of time. But think about it. I think about my friends in this period of time. The guy who would have won this tournament probably would have gone on to have a dorky car selling life where he's acting kind of dorky and proud of his dorky karate yeah. accomplishment. Whereas the guy who was the bully and kind of lost probably would have been more like my friend. He's kind of like an anti-hero. He's yeah. Well, he's the guy smoking pot somewhere. He's kind of like, fuck it, whatever, you know? Well, he's the guy who totally peaked in high school, you know, like that's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older. They stay the same age. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. Johnny is getting fucked with this poor kid from Newark, from Jersey. Yeah, we're from Jersey. Yeah. He brings that up a lot. It's a little heavy duty, even like, in the first two episodes. It, it goes on and on. Where he's oh, like, hey, I remember growing up as a kid in Newark, right. New Jersey. Shut that, up, uh, dickhead. Yeah, like anyone like, I ever saw in Newark, New Jersey, looked like you, asshole. Yeah, like, yeah maybe in 19-fucking-71, you idiot. Yeah. Hey, uh, where you from? New Jersey. Ah, what you doing out here? Every time they show uh, Johnny eating anything, yeah, it's always got to be something sloppy. <laughs> like in like, I think it's like the first or second episode. He, he bites into something and he's got like barbecue sauce yeah, on his yeah. face or something. <laughs> and then like a couple of other times when he's eating stuff, you're like, oh, we get it. He doesn't have any money. He's eating trash food. Yeah, like he, that whole scene where he's. People are handling his pizza with their bare hands, and yeah, like, and then never, he takes it. I'm like, he takes it. I'm like, yeah, no, no. Come on, I'm we good. get that he's pathetic. Right, it's still a pretty Jesus. nice apartment. Yeah, in California, and then know? he goes sits on the fucking street to eat his pizza. To after eat it, having the it guy manhandled, just, just kind of slapped into his hand with not a, with the with nothing, no plate. Yeah. Where are the standards? It's ridiculous. That's what I want to know. <laughs> it's just, a, but he does that thing where, and he does it in the video. For Sweep the Leg Johnny, too, where it's like, I'm going to shave off my scruffy beard. I'm back to the Johnny of old that can kick ass. <laughs> Get him a body bag! Yeah! Also, that kid that he trains. Yeah. He's like a Hispanic Michael Sarah, is how I keep thinking yeah. of him. Yeah, he's very self-consciously sensitive and yeah. aware of his... I'm like, oh, oh, sorry. I, oh, oh. But that's, yeah, that's... Like, very awkward kind of kid. Fits in perfectly with this generation of kids, the 
Yeah, internet world. I, I like that angle too because yeah. they do they do bring that up that it's sort of like this generation needs Cobra Kai because stop well, being it pussies. And it, listen, I haven't. I'm just looking like at like it's what, like, hey, snowflake. <laughs> no, but I saw karate. I saw like the upcoming episodes and it, yeah, it, that seems like that's how they justify Cobra Kai. That Johnny's like, you kids need to be tough. Da, 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 yeah. Da. And it's like, okay, I can believe that this character would think that. Yeah. I don't know, you know. Well, you, the one thing I don't understand as this show goes on <laughs> is, like, there, there's a lot of kids who are getting bullied. Yeah. Like, they keep showing. And it would just seem like in today's society of the anti-bullying yeah. and, hey, don't do that. And this, with this kind of shit, like, it's some really mean shit. I feel like. like meaner maybe, than any of the shit we ever used to do. Like I don't, yeah. I've both been bullied and been a bully. Yeah. And I've got to tell you that what they do in California, and in these, this shit is... It's vicious. Yeah. Vicious. I don't know. Horrible stuff. You would think that you wouldn't need Cobra Kai. You would just, people would have been like, oh, no bullying, you guys. Yeah. And then that's it. But shit hey, runs rampant, I Johnny guess. Johnny opens the Cobra Kai dojo with no knowledge of how to open a business. It's like... <laughs> Wait, I got to do what? <laughs> I got to need insurance? Yeah, dickhead, you need yeah, insurance. You need, of course you need and you need it has moron. to be inspected. It's a building. Maybe you weren't so mad at LaRusso, he could have hooked you <laughs> yeah. up and helped Seems you. Seems like he's really there's something to be said for the fact that he's still impacting all of your choices this many years later. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate it, but it, it, to a level, it is pretty silly how against Cobra Kai LaRusso is. But that's the whole thing. This tone is different than the old one. The old yeah. trilogy took this shit seriously. This is very clearly camp. So he, they're playing it big. They're playing sure. it in this big, very wide, yeah. you know, view viewpoint. Because it is funny. Like, I'm obviously, like like we were talking about, you know, he's kind of stuck in this moment, whereas LaRusso is, like, you know, super successful and all the shit. But you really find out that he is kind of still stuck in the moment, even though he won. Well, th- he's th- still kind of affected th- by th- that. And that's what's, ma- well, he, that's, they show that that's kind of made him his fortune in, in its own yeah. way. That lore. Like I said, of the locals, it's not a crazy idea that the local sports hero would make good sure. and be famous. I just find it hard to believe that in that part of California, the local sports hero, if we're in the middle right. of Kansas, that makes sense to me. Yeah. If it's Pistol Pete in Pawnee Parks and Recreation, well, that's it makes why sense I, to I, me. I think, they, I think it's it's interesting because they show you, like, they'll show you him, like, at work, like, but on the lot, like... Yeah. You know... It's like you have, like, five sports like, oh, cars in your garage. Why are you going to work every day? Right. And you don't even have but a briefcase. You've got like, like an artist's bag you're holding. You look like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but they at least show like, you know, he was good at the job anyway. Yeah. Plus, he's like a bit of a local celebrity. So I think yeah. like mash those two together. And he's wildly successful. Listen, in, like, in that part of California, it's Daniel LaRusso and pornography. And yeah. That's where the fame is. <laughs> right. That's what you're yeah. famous for in yeah. that part. And in this world. I'm sure there are porn stars who own dealerships all over the place. Probably. Yeah. In the like, hey, karate... I sucked a hundred yards of cock. All right, Scott, Buy a car don't, for me. Don't... <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure this wet... Wetted? Wet? This wheat? What? Wet. Your appetite <laughs> for the real episode. It's coming right up. But check it out. It's going to be out in a couple of days. In the meantime, check us out on Instagram. Um, check us out on Facebook. We're there. Thanks so much. I'm Vin, and that is... I'm Scott. This has been a yet another awesome Trillbit Karate Kid. I'm so excited! Hi-ya! I didn't see it coming, creeping up from behind. I was almost swallowed whole by the thrill of the fight. It wasn't for the money, and it wasn't just for fun. I wanted to make a money. I just wanted to be someone. Yeah.